I'm going to transform this 40-year-old trimaran that I bought for $50,000. And I believe it will be worth over $300,000 when I'm finished. My goal is to complete the build on a shoestring budget all within 12 months. Think I can do it? But first, I need to sell the idea to my fiance as we currently live on it. Lucky for me, she loves warm weather, pina coladas, and once I mention Mexico, she's in. Well, that went better than I had expected. So now it's game on. First step, I need to find lightweight aerospace composites as I refuse to use any wood on this build. And these are not usually easy to find, nor are they cheap. But after a very thorough search on Craigslist, I found the needle in the haystack. Let's just say this is a huge undertaking. Getting all the paints, epoxy, fiberglass, and these gigantic 19 foot by six and a half foot wide panels and other composites all put together and building a custom trailer to carry all this for the 800 mile journey down to Mexico. But that's still not the hard part. The trailer will be driven down only after I make it back alive from sailing my trimaran 2,000 miles to the least expensive boatyard in Mexico. As I'm saying this out loud, I'm thinking to myself, who would do this, right? Good morning guys. Hey, it's day 14 of construction. Uh, yeah, so we've been doing a lot actually, not filming every little detail unfortunately, but uh, overall let me get you caught up where we are. So we tore off the aft cabin as you might have seen in the earlier uh, clip that we were going to use it only for storage and make this whole deck flat, but then it turned into an idea to keep it as a guest room by having this part raised up equal to those two cuts right there, which is 16 inches. We're gonna make this a giant day bed. And the day bed will allow still access inside and use this as a room. So that should be good. Now we are on to the transom project. And the transom I made blunt, I brought it up because it used to scoop a lot of water and it would always be green moss down there because it was too low, it was just poorly designed. Anyway, so now we have the step that Aldo is currently working on. Say good morning, Aldo. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. See. Anyway, um, so what we're doing right now is that we're about to cut the height of that white wall right there down to the right level. As you can see on the pink, we have some lines there and some lines over here. So we're taking, today, we're going to mount our 20-inch extension all the way across here, all the way to the corner over there and that becomes one side 20 inch extension. We're also doing this piece over here, the same idea. So we've already prepped the area. Yesterday, I left Aldo to himself. It was all dust. I came back at around four o'clock and it was just prepping everything. So tons of sanding. There was like inch and a half dust in all the corners of everything. So I had to do a lot of vacuuming. So today, the prep has pretty much been done. Now it's a time for the doggy to relax and not have to get run around by the dust. Right, doggy? Right, doggy? What do you think? Construction day, huh? Yes. Anyway, she's been a good construction girl. Uh, she's doing well, even though not a great time to pick up a dog and do construction in this boat. She's almost a full-time job, aren't you? Oh, you have a new present. Oh, man, I just blink. And there's new presents on my boat. I just cleaned like four of them. I walk her all the time too. This dog eats like no other and she poops like no other. And right now, doesn't look pretty. No, nope, here we are. Two new ones just in the last few minutes. I just cleaned all the stuff up before. She is a pooping machine. You are a pooping machine, aren't you? You are, but you're so cute. It's so hard to say no. You can poop where you want. Okay, I'll be good. I'll let you poop. You gonna eat a bone today? 
Can't eat a bone today? How about your rope? How about your rope? Where's that? Can we play tug of war? Arr. Tug of war for you. Okay. This is Lucky. Lucky is a lucky little pooch. She was a taco stand dog that I saved. So Lucky has survived when all of her six other brothers and sisters perished to passing by cars. So that's why I adopted her. I heard about that story and I had to get her. Anyway, so Aldo's back up here. He's trying to measure out the cut that we're gonna do. Do you need me to help you hold it? Uh, no. And the extensions will fit up here today. We're going to mount them. And that's the last part of the puzzle that we're gonna need to get flat. So this one here, this is one half, and the other half is over here. And after a careful review after we made it, we realized that it needed 10 more inches or so, about a foot, to make it fit properly. So we had to do an extension right there, but this is it. And also, uh, this is a lot of the composite I also have. I have this one inch, half inch, a few, a few different sizes. I bought this as well purposely for an easier job and what this allows me is to have the core, the strength, the fiberglass, the gel coat already done so to mount this stuff it's a lot quicker. Making composites yourself takes time and a good prep area and to make them long is very difficult so by having these these four by eight sheets already made and then having these 19 foot long sheets by six and a half foot wide that's what made this job possible so uh, if you are considering a build of something like this you might want to search and find and if you need help i can direct you So as you can see, the job we did on the transom uh, is complete except for the cosmetic portion of it. So we've done a really, really solid glass build. And then by the time we get down to the hull and start to paint and do all the stuff here, we add more body, we fare it down really, really nice and prep it for paint. Right now, it's just after construction. Hey, how are you? This is Francisco. He's a contractor in this yard. Hola. I'm filming for my guys on YouTube. You came at a good time. I met you a long time ago in the other hey, yard. Domingo. Yeah, so, Domingo. Domingo, that's right. Yeah. You were working on the uh, boat the last time I saw you with the transom problem. The transom. The Richard? I think so, yeah. Richard. Probably. Ah, and the other grande, the other grande, the the god knot. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, gone nuts. That was another one. Yeah. Sam, también. Yeah, yeah. I got it too much, Sam. <laughs> yeah, you have plenty of sons. That's and, good. And the full. Hey, Aldo is same the Sam. My Sam is yeah, same. Yeah, son. The, the boy. Oh I no way. The boy. Sí, really? Sí, Aldo, sí. And David is my son. Putativo yeah, son. Yeah, I was sí. wondering. Sí. Yeah. When the mother, the, the David, I got it one boy the ten years. Wow. Sí, and the mother, the David. And at least the David, when he got it a year, yeah. I live with your mother. And, and he young and work for me. He's Francisco, Francisco work. Now he work. I bring nice. to, to Gabriel for work. And bring Aldo, bring a Domingo, and my son Panchito, and uh, Alex, the other yeah. working. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bring a key. So how do you guys stay on this boat? So with the longboard? And longboard. So he was just telling me that we're going to make this boat very, very smooth. If you see on the outside, there are, there are some waves, and I have to fix it. Make you got it very, a weather very smooth. meter. Well, you, you got a weather meter or no? Weather? Water meter? No, I do not. I don't think I have water. It's it's um, fiberglass, Airx core, and more fiberglass. There's okay. no wood. Okay. No. Yeah. Bueno, I bring, I got it. One, okay. And bring a check. Okay. When me painting one boat, yeah. every time I check the 
the weather. Desde cero queremos tocar el cielo, ser como el Capone o escribir como la abuela, ser un rockstar ídolo como Pedro, mexican rapper para serte sincero, nació todo esto de un sueño, tocar en el extranjero, mis huellas en el paseo, tu rapper favorito sin todo ese mamoneo, solo quiero que me escuches, tenemos aquí una cita y algo de lo que rapeo, ser tu canción favorita, no quiero ser número uno en las listas, te quiero a ti, yo quiero ser tu artista, déjala que estaba mal, está loca por el cristal y a mí solo me preocupa por andar sonando igual, de Jalisco a Yucatán, de México a Miramar, de Colombia a Puerto Rico, sobre todo en mi ciudad. Sí, he, he worked more than me, the more? fiberglass. Yeah. The, the fiber, he, he worked many, porque he worked with the maker, Charlie, the... Construction, the, 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 the catamaran de Charlie oh, yeah. Baker. Oh, he was telling me, you, you yeah, worked on with him. Yeah, that. Aldo and yeah, me yeah. working on Charlie. Yeah. If Charlie is the, the, is the nice guy and the very crazy guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for working. No, Aldo and me. You know, to <laughs> Charlie, ah, working, working, oh, wow. yeah, work, work, yeah, the main boy, Aldo, Julio, Agosto. <laughs> really? <laughs> so wait, yeah. I've been too nice with Aldo. I should push harder and run faster. Yeah, very fast uh, every day, Charlie. I should be more like Charlie, huh? Yeah. Come on, Aldo, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So we're doing the last little touch-ups to put the epoxy on the edges of our extension. And uh, we're gonna lay it down tonight, dry in the morning, then we're gonna fiberglass it. So I was just asking Aldo, Francisco and Domingo were here in that clip. Um, they're, Francisco is pretty much your boss, right? Boss, like a boss, yeah. like a father. Okay. Uh, yeah, he was saying he was raised, so tell us the story how, how you got into boat building. Uh, I worked with Francisco like uh, 15 years ago. And he knew you when you were how old? Uh, I got like uh, 15 years. 15 years old? Yeah. yeah. And I worked with Francisco, I liked the job. And later I worked with other guy, he's uh, Charlie Baker, the big catamaran. You know? So you guys built a big catamaran for him? Yes, I learned too much with uh, Charlie Baker. Yeah. And the other is for me. I learned, yep. I put, uh, I, I use it, uh, my technical, yes. so, you know, I think too your much. Your mind, yeah. yes. yeah, you're a smart guy. I paint a lot of boats, yeah. uh, big boats, the small boats, everything, but later I, I work in the, you know, the army, like uh, eight years. Eight years in the Marines. Eight years in the Marine. Wow. In the army I work in the, I paint the cars. Yeah. For the soldiers. Oh no way. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> That's for good experience. Eight years. Wow. Nine, see eight years. Eight years. The gray. Yeah. The many yeah. colors. No. Oh, oh yeah. Other colors. Gray, the green. Yeah. Black, everything. Yes. But now I'm big here. That's cool. Yeah. It's good to see how it all turned out. Yeah. Good. So what are we doing now? Are we going to cut that now? I did color this piece. Yep. Of the leather. Okay, cool. So we're almost ready to put those pieces up. Very close. Okay, cool. What do you think, Lucky?
Mafia. Betrayed us, fakers in the human flesh You can't kill a bunch of bitch Cowards by the way he dressed